Well, here we go. So, as we know, the temperatures have picked up. Yeah, it's my first day of leave, so I'm up on the roof. And I've already done the prep work for the year uh, for this tricky bit where that valley meets this part of the uh, slope. So you can see I've put the wood in place. Um, I put the eaves protectors on. That one, that bit of the fascia bar I've had to cut down. So that goes straight into the gutter. This one's slightly raised for the tile. So I've got the solid base now. Uh, all the way up where it terminates there. For the part of the slope. So I've just got to put the, uh, the kind of, it's like a lead composite. Uh, material in blue of lead uh, but it's got a really sticky back so I've just got to get this cut get it bonded in place and then I can start uh, putting the tiles over the top then and get the cuts done and then uh, and then I can finish this bit off here get that valley trough put in uh, the rubber that goes as well which will run into the into this bit I'm making here right dilly dilly uh, so, so I've also cut the, uh, the fascia board angle uh, so I'm about to go up now and just put this in place and just make sure it's right uh, and then I can mark where I need to cut from the length um, and then that'll be that bit done and then I can get me roll the lead composite out and then cut that as well Dilly dilly Alright cheers guys, yeah, it is good to be back grafting I tell you and over my man flew as well. Well, nearly there with that one. But uh, anyway, so fish board angle was perfect. So I've now cut off the length. So that's just the little bit of fish board that'll go on. Yeah, which is also going to add as a bit of protection because my uh, sort of composite uh, material is going to be going underneath this. Uh, speaking of which, here it is. Not the cheapest thing. It's about hundred pound a roll for what I've got here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it basically, uh, it's made up of like a, a neat PDM rubber, uh, but it's got uh, aluminium uh, gauze inside as well. So you can see there that it just bends uh, quite easily to form uh, different shapes and be able to go around stuff. Um, and also it's got the, uh, the sticky uh, bitumen. Uh, on the back which is just self stick you just peel that off and just push that on don't need to apply any heat or anything uh, that will just bond to most uh, dry substrates so um, that will be perfect so I'll just get this one rolled out now get it marked up uh, cut off uh, what I need and let's get it bonded into place exciting stuff dilly dilly right so I've got a bit stuck down yeah, which is fantastic. Fascia board covers all that. There's like my trough. Plenty of excess on here to curl it under. So basically when the rain comes down here, hits this. Of course I'll have a curl on there, can't go underneath. Tiles will overlap there about that much. So straight down and that's basically the trough that takes all the water from the valley into the gutter well right, what would you know dilly dilly well it's coming together nicely a bit chilly now uh, so you can see i've got the uh all the flashing on if you like i've got the fascia board on I've got the eaves protector over the top you can see now that's nailed in place so a valley comes down goes onto the rubber drops onto this and goes down yeah there's plenty of uh, stuff underneath as well so i'm not going to get anything going under plus there's more tiles to go on so i've got to cut half tiles now uh, which will basically just sit over here and end about there i'll have one point where it rests on this but i'll put um i've got some uh, sticky on sort of polystyrene pads if you like so it'll just not abrase this yeah but it's only a contact point on one part of the tile, not the full, so that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so as you can, as you can see, eventually uh, that'll all get covered 
and you can imagine the next trail going over that basically the water can now run underneath down to the gutter so uh, again it'll just become more visual when I get sort of the tiles on all the way up there across and across that way and then you'll kind of see the idea but hopefully you get the gist of that now oh I'm pleased I do now because it was doing my head in dilly dilly well that's it for tonight but I'm um, happy with that so I'll cut my tiles yeah, I've bonded them as well on the seal there yeah, where it overlaps because there's nothing for them to hang on to yeah. so that's uh, nice and sealed up so I've got cuts to do now but they'll uh, they'll wait till tomorrow start the uh, cuts on this on the way up as I'm uh, finishing off the rest of the roof you can't see but it's, uh, it's all, all tiled up to this point here um, oh, just well happy with that please it's finally getting done yeah, onwards and upwards, eh? Right. More tomorrow, dilly dilly. Right, good morning. Been up early. Cracking on, done some cuts already. Yeah, so that's just tying in all nicely, that. That's a uh, little soaker, as it's called. That's great. So, just cracking on with the rest now. As you can see, I've done all this tiling here. I've got the dry ridge system to pull on, so I can't do the tops yet. But, uh, yeah, not too far off couple more cuts on these, finish off these uh, two rows uh, and then I'll crack on with either this part here or installing the Velux dilly dilly I've done as much as I can on that side. So uh, now I'm just about to uh, I need to cut a little bit, about a centimetre and a half uh, off each of these. I'll put the lat on the front edge then, and then I can crack on do the rest of the tiling with this uh, this end. I've got to start off that end, work my way up, across. Then work my way down, so I know my start point on this side, and then hopefully they'll all meet on the top run. A bit tricky, but hey ho, oh. dilly dilly. Well, that was a bit sketchy. Um, so I had my trestles up. Uh, just some fence planks on, but I doubled them up. Uh, I put the Velux onto there, then climbed up my ladders, and then hooked it in place. Get in. Bit of a mare like on your own, but it's uh, it's in there. It's it's not in properly. It's in as far as I can do tonight. Uh, need to get up there tomorrow and just. Do the fine adjustments and secure it down onto the buttons. Uh, but if I need to make any adjustments, I've got some plastic bits that you put in and it sort of levels it out. But shouldn't be too bad. Then I can get that screwed in place, take the window back out, and then I've got to put all the flashing kit on then. And then I can complete the tiles uh, on this side. And that'll be it. Right, cup of tea. Dilly dilly. Ah, hi guys, another day on the roof, so we've seen yesterday I put the Velox in, um, so I had to put a, uh, oh, don't go, um, 
first of all was putting the uh, the insulation fitting kit which is an optional extra but it's worth getting it uh, just does the job proper like so put that in first then I had to put the frame in uh, prior to that I put the brackets on to start the rain um, and that was it really uh, screw the brackets down I had to put the wind in do the alignment before I put the last two in just so I made sure the frame was square uh, it didn't need any uh, spaces in to just height or anything, uh, it was spot on, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, it's nice and square. I've took the uh, window back out now, and I'm now just about to finish the rest of the uh, insulation kit, uh, which basically goes around the perimeter, staple it in place, it bonds onto the side uh, with these bits here. Um, then I can fit a drainage rail at the top, secure that in place, and then I'm ready to start tiling um, and putting the flashing kit on so I'll get this installed and show you what it's like after dilly dilly okay so well, that's the uh, the sheet put round uh, stapled into position also installed the uh, the drainage gully at the top which tucks under and over clipped in and that's where the undersarkin goes as well uh, tucked into that so a nice neat job that uh, it's all sealed around the side Whoa, just got careful on the roof uh, no ambulances today oh jesus Whoa. Um, yeah so next stage is to start installing the tiles up to this point and then I start putting the flashing on so I'll have to go down in there get a cutter because mine's burnt out after all the work it's done um served as proud but it's seen its day right see you soon dilly dilly okay so back down on the uh, ground level so i've done all the tiling now which i'll show you when i get up top up to the point where I've got to put the flashing bottom flashing kit on yeah, before I can continue with the tiling. Uh, in fact, I think I've got to put the side bits on as well. Anyway, I'll follow the destructions. So I've opened the uh, flashing kit. Um, lots of various uh, bits in here. And the bit arm I've got is uh, this big bit here. Yeah. It's just flexors which will follow the contour of the tiles. So let's get this installed. Dilly dilly. Right, hello guys. So I've uh, been doing all my cuts. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have the last row of tiles to put up that side, but that's not a problem. Yeah, I will have to cut them down a bit, that's all. So anyway, it's nice and tight up against the, uh, the valley there. So uh, yeah, we've pretty much seen all that. So that's all good, these are all in place now, spot on. And you can see now I've fitted all the flashing kit for the Velux. Uh, quite straightforward really, I thought it was going to be quite complicated, but uh, it looks quite complex, but it's not really, just follow the destructions. So ready to crack on with uh, some more tiling now. Uh, mainly these bits for the cuts here. Um, yep, I'm going to have cuts here as well. Uh, pretty much half a tile going up there, uh, going up this side. Uh, looking at it, uh, I wonder if I could possibly overlap that tile uh, rather than follow on with the with the crease. It won't really matter. Uh, I'll see. I'll see how I get on with that one. Right, I'll crack on with a bit of tiling then. Dilly dilly. Well, it's a bit dark, but. Uh, yeah, I'm all tiled. Just got that side to do there, but all this bit is all done. All the way across. Yeah, I'll show you better in the in the daytime. But uh, yeah, happy with that. Get this Velux window put back in. So I'll have to set me scaffolding up. Right, dilly dilly.